Hello everybody. I'm back. I had to take a um, day off. I did a blackout. Whenever y'all see a blackout on my melanated awareness, that's, that means I'm going to take some time off for me because if I don't take care of me, then I'm not going to be able to help take care of my community, um, my black melanated community. All right. So what I am in doing is I'm getting ready to, I'm, I'm looking at the situation with Nature Boy. I don't know. I haven't seen Eligio on doing any lives or anything lately. I don't know who else is worried about it, but I'm like wondering, yo, like, is he just gone with a whole family or whatever, you know, and a whole sex cult with these babies over there and nobody's like really saying nothing, you know, is it, has the energy died down or whatever and it, now it's time for drama again? Because that's what I'm seeing online now and it's, it's, it's really disgusting. I don't understand it, but we need to um, get on it with our communities right now. I'm gonna be putting together some things because at this point, you it's a whole bunch of chaos. It's like we already got chaos in real life. And if you got um, some mess like this online and you're seeing it as a black community, then you should say something. But it just shows what we literally do in our own communities. We see this right here going on online and we like get pumped up for it and then it dies down. And then, you know, why isn't any, why wasn't this situation that we see right here gotten on right away? You feel me? Why did this even get, you know, why, is, why did this continue on, especially with babies and um, you know, included in the situation because we've forgotten about our kids, we've forgotten about our black communities, we just, you know, have forgotten. Um, yeah, I feel like if um, families were more involved in their um, kids' lives and, you know, busy investing a great foundation into this child, you know, preparing them for this system that they do live in, a lot of people can't just burn off and go to another country and just, you know, start living because that's not what they're used to. So what you want to do is you start prepping, all right? This is your, these kids are your foundation. So you start prepping your kids. You start investing into these babies, all right? You don't invest in them by letting them get taken off like the little baby that the um, stepfather had or now they can't find the baby. It's like, what are we doing in our community that we're letting these little babies get, um, dealt with like this, this this mistreatment, as if children don't have rights. And what I think the mental illness is, is that we have been in, a lot of us as, in, you know, that are adults have been in, had abusive relationships with our parents. And then people were not speaking out about it. And so mentally, this probably has done a lot to a lot of people, okay, in our black community. So that means when you're growing up, you're, you're taking all of this in, and then you're gonna put this out to your, your children, all right? You're, you're gonna do them like this. Um, there's no way that this, this these kids over there, they should not be in that sex cult. Um, I, I'm still saying pray for those babies. They haven't been online, so it's like, what's going on? Nobody else is saying anything about it. I think it's disgusting to see so many people that do have uh, you know, big platforms and they use them for trash, garbage, gossiping, and it's just disgusting as a black community. We do that, like I said, in, in real life out here in this society. So it's like there's chaos on in our community, even online, you feel me? On, on situations that definitely have to do with, with children, you know, children in our black communities. And with us sitting back and just like not really pushing issues like that and just like Get your energy up like this for about a good month or so, I guess. And then it just dies down. And then it's like, dang, I wonder whatever happened to them babies, you know, down the line. I wonder whatever happened to them babies. And that's just it. We got to do better, black community. So um, we got, we, we're going to do better, okay? Because a lot of our community, apparently, even the ones that say they're woke, they're very sleep. We live in this system. A lot of people can't just jump up, so it has to be preparation in our communities right now, okay? Um, we should not be ashamed to help our communities out. People that really are woke should not be ashamed to go ahead and start stepping out in your communities and waking your community up. Why should we, we continuously be walking around sleep? It's not fair because you're not gonna make it in this system. You're not. All right, you're gonna end up like the Elysios. You're gonna end up like the um the parents that had that little 
girl that's just out here missing and a, a whole lot of other kids that's just out here missing because we just don't really care about the foundation of our um you know that we have this is our foundation the babies are our foundation you're supposed to invest in your foundations that's the reason why we got a bad rap because we don't care about our own communities we're not communicating with our communities we're not investing in our communities and it's not just um it, it's it's a group a unity effort it's not just like some it's got to be an all thing Remember, we're spiritual people. Monty, remember, we're spiritual people. So we just got to get it right. We got to get it right. So I'm getting ready to get out of here. I just wanted to drop this vi this um, video really quick. Stop, Zion. I had to um, drop this really quick. But um, I'm still going to say to make sure that you are reaching out. Hold it, y'all. Real quick. Come back from the door. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Look at her, she did a starter bark. <laughs> huh? Yeah, she's like clapping and stuff. No, Monty. I mean, sorry. Back up. Sorry, y'all. Oh, my goodness. That was honest. You look like you had a whole bunch of pizzas. You got like two things. Anyway, I'm sorry about that, y'all. But um, I'm going to still continue to say, because I, I would like to see if there's anything else that's going on with that, um, with the situation with the babies. If, if there's, is anyone going to be doing anything about it? You know, as far as the family members, you know, I feel like you have to go ahead when you see things like this happen and this poison right here you have to go ahead and start working in your communities and start making a difference and um i'm gonna most definitely be you know putting my 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 two cent in as far as this online situation because this it's it's ridiculous it's really disgusting what i've seen online and i knew nothing about this youtube thing and it's just sickening very sick man. I'm gonna definitely be asking you all to um, follow me on my journey um, um, pertaining to my niece um, you guys I mean if y'all know me I love kids you feel me love the babies but I do meet, need to I definitely need to work on my what I have to work on personally too because it, it's very draining and then to be doing you know you feel like you're putting forth all this effort and then all of a sudden there's nothing but this should never have started you know it's something wrong with our community, and it's a mental illness. And a lot of us need to go ahead and get on it. And I feel like I need to go ahead and help us get on it, you know. Especially all of us that's online with this, what we're doing. You know, you need to connect with the right people. That's why I was like, I don't care about all the views and, and the subscribers and all of that stuff right now. I, it's, it's certain people that really do care. Certain people that really do get it. they like, they right here for real, you know. They right there. Like, we literal. There's certain people that are literal. There's certain people that are not into what's popular. We're more into what we seeing. Like, literally. You feel me? We live in this system. Remember that, y'all. It's nothing wrong with standing up for your community and making sure that you're laying down a strong foundation for your community. You feel me? Your community starts with these babies that we, like, our community is just, like, fucking these kids over and it's not fair they don't have a choice they don't have a voice and it's not fair we gotta start thinking we have to start thinking and not just thinking and saying and pumping up fists we have to start doing and it's like people that see things that are going on in their community we about to get ready to start saying something about that because it's not fair to these babies not fair at all and um, my prayers are also with that baby um I'm gonna have her name. I hate the fact I, I gotta find her name because I feel bad for the, the fact that that's even an issue. You know, I feel I feel real bad that those are always issues in our community. I'm noticing like really always issues where kids like these kids are just getting done all types of way. I can't put and I really can't even pronounce the little baby's name, but I just know that. I've been seeing it up and down my timeline. It's just that that's a lot of, it's a lot of 
stressed and it really you know just dealing with this and dealing with the the sickness that's in our community and just knowing and then you already know that you're dealing with it out here but then i get online and i'm like dang what's wrong with our community that's why they look down on us y'all i really see why they look down on us but just understand, I'm going to always have those numbers. That, that any information that I have is going to be always pinned. Um, there's a discussion board it's also on my... Um, I noticed there's a discussion board. So I'm going to start um, using that as well. So that you guys will know what I'm doing. Because we we got to do better, y'all. This, this, is, this is ridiculous. And I cannot find that little baby's name. I think it's Medelia Davis. I can't. I have. I. I can't really take in everything, but I know that's going on with that little, you know, that family, and I just know that um, the situation didn't seem right in the first place, and we have to. Um, we have a poisonous in our community, and you got um, people just letting other people come into their families, and you know, poisons like the same thing like Elysia, poison. There's no way that baby should have been off like that into that situation when I know she had a, they said she had a head injury. Why, why is this situation even happening? She out with her stepfather. But the other baby's okay. And you know, what was going on with this? What was going on? We gotta start, it starts deeper and we get ready to go ahead and start working on it. So I'm gonna get the, the quality views that I need on my platform. Because that's all I want. I don't want that drama. That drama is disgusting. I'm, I'm, I'm not even ashamed to say it. It's like that drama is disgusting. And I had to do a blackout on my melanated awareness page. Because I was like, what in the world? Wow. I was even getting messages in my inbox about who not to talk to. I'm grown. <laughs> I'm so grown and the issue is not like I'm in fifth grade. I'm not a fifth grader. I don't I already told everybody I'm I'm riding solo right now. You feel me? I'm I ride solo. I'm in my own lane. That's just the type of person I am. But you know, the right people will come into my world, you know, and be on my freaking frequency where I'm not riding solo. And so we will see how that's gonna go. But right now I'm riding solo and I don't get into drama. So nobody will ever have to warn me about any type of online drama because I'm just looking at this like, you know, people like, whoa, it's disgusting. Especially when it has to do with kids that you see and you have a platform with many, many people up there and you can get this out to many, many people. It's no, you never know who you can con who you can bump into as far as like when you're online and someone will take this information and just like blast that information it should have been like blasted big time like you know as i said i'm still encouraging the families if your family if you do have a family member that's in a cult any cults reach out to your family members okay why not you know why not it's your family. That's your offspring. This is your foundation. Why not? You're going to need that foundation after the fact. What? It's cold up? Oh, wow. Anyway, I'm about to be ready to get out of here. Um, please continue to pray for those babies. Um, the information, as I said, is going to be pinned in my um, comments. It's going to be um, also in my description. If I do see um, him online again, then I most definitely, if I see any lives, anybody hit me any, with some lives that are recent and everything, I will be doing my rundown again of the numbers because um, it needs to be stopped. That whole you know thing needs to be stopped. And um, again, I don't get into the drama, so... Let me make that very clear. I appreciate the um the emails that have stopped. Um, I also appreciate the people that um you know that understand what my mission is and they understand my frequency and they're on the same vibe. And the ones that don't, then I think you you you'll get it one day. I hope, I hope you'll get it. But it's a lot of people that's not woke, 
and and they be thinking that they walk. I mean, it's, it, you can be woke and still and just too lazy to get it together too. That's another thing. Your mind is so lazy because they, they didn't, yeah. We, we, we really got to go ahead and get it right, y'all. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here for real this time. Y'all enjoy the rest of your night. Check the comments. Reach out to your families. Love on your families. Remember to start with these babies, all right? When you have them, invest in them. Good night.